We're at Heathrow Terminal 2 and I'm waving bye-bye to a huge group of amazing leaders and young explorers who are heading off to Manu National Park in the Peruvian Amazon. They're going for between three and five weeks, there's already a team out there, and they're going there to work out just how exceptional they are as young people. They're going to look at all of the flora and fauna out there and have a good think about the sustainability of the planet at the, main at the same time and hopefully take some incredible pictures while they're there. From Heathrow to uh, Bogota, from Bogota pretty promptly onto Lima, and then from Lima now onto Cusco. We just arrived in Cusco. Bit of altitude, a bit uh, lightheaded. Cool. So it's five, five o'clock in the morning uh, on uh, Thursday the 28th. Uh, we're up this early because we need to be on the road early. It's a long drive into the, into the jungle, uh, nine hours of driving on the road. So we need to start early, start while it's nice and cold and head into where it's nice and hot. Uh, so everyone's loaded up, all the kits on the buses and we're good to go. True exploration um, is that idea of going somewhere, somewhere and setting yourself goal, bold goals and trying to find things and do things that are new and different. So we've just walked down to this riverbank. It's like like half an hour away from where we were camping, but it's just really awesome. So it's like jungle on the sides, barren river. It's awesome. I think it's really good that the Crees Foundation are trying to help the locals and it's good that they do things like this so that the locals know that they're still keeping it up to scratch, like they've not started and stopped, they're going to keep it up to keep it sustainable. The point of the bar gardens is that we've created an area to then create food that they can then eat. So they're growing their own food rather than having to import it from Cusco. What we're doing now is we're packing dirt and small stones into the space of the hole that we're putting the log in here. So it'll stand up straighter and be able to support more weight. At the moment, we're filling the bottles up with mud and soil uh, to make the surrounds for the beds uh, that we're going to plant stuff in. We said right at the beginning, I think, um, that what we wanted to do in this expedition was create a multidisciplinary team, a multidisciplinary expedition that had lots and lots of activity and therefore lots and lots of outcomes. Uh, the plan for today is we are going to go um, up onto the Pini Pini Ridge. Um, the reason for going up there is that it is uh, an area of primary rainforest. We're going to compare that science with the science that we found in secondary rainforest where we are at the moment. Um, one of the major challenges in that is the, um, the rock band, which is about a 15 metre um, rock band which goes across the ridge. Uh, at the moment we are walking up to the Pini Pini Ridge and it's all uphill. So it's kind of hard. We started at the bottom. Uh, we probably walked about an hour and a half and nearly two hours, and we're probably about halfway up the hill. Oh, we've made it up the Pinny Pinny Ridge, um, and this is the amazing view that we've got. We didn't think there would be one, but because it's been quite a hard walk, but we finally got up here. Um, the primary rainforest that we're in now is pretty good. Um, quite different from what we've been in before. It's a lot more wild, a lot more big trees, and we've seen some good tracks and cut through. Frankie's cut through quite a lot. 
to get up here. So it's been quite hard, but it's worth it for this view. So these guys have collected the soil samples at each of the sites we tested and they've been looking at the colour and the composition and they're now testing the pH, phosphate, nitrite and nitrate levels in the soil. So Andrew is now going up on the kite system uh, to access the canopy uh, on this large uh, emergent tree, which is a, an orhe tree. Uh, he's sitting in, in the kite, uh, which is a sitting harness, and he's using a, a, a bar, a climbing bar, to, uh, to enable an easy flow of, uh, of movement up the, up the tree and up the ropes. You have to use your arms to kind of lever yourself up the tree. and. Once you get halfway up the tree, you get to see the first part of the treetops, almost, and it's really, really cool. 